Hello and welcome to another Chinese food adventure. So little backstory, a few months ago I had the opportunity to go to something called Billy Billy World. So for my friends watching this video on YouTube, Billy Billy is kind of like China's version of YouTube. So anyway, I went to Billy Billy World, it was amazing, I had this, my own stall and everything with a big wall with my face on it. And uh, it was really cool because subscribers could come and meet with me and I could talk with them and I thought it would be an amazing idea if I could get my subscribers to write on my wall their recommendation of what I should eat in their hometown. So I got recommendations from all around China which I will definitely be taking up on in future videos. But I did notice a very interesting phenomenon when it came to suggestions of what to eat in the city of Hangzhou. I met so many people from Hangzhou but only one of them was willing to write something on this board and the food he wrote was KFC. It's come to my attention that the city of Hangzhou is, as they say in China, some kind of Meishu Huangmo, a food desert. So I decided to test this theory. So I'm currently here in Hangzhou. I'm here very, very early. It is currently, wait, what's the time? It is 6.42. I've decided to come here to Dama Nong. It's a very local Hangzhou market where you'll find everything from breakfast snacks, local specialties, as well as all manner of fresh produce. Oh my gosh, look at this gourd. That is one big gourd, I mean, oh my god. This place has kind of gone hot on social media recently. I'm not really sure why, maybe because it's just so down to earth and local. I mean, in a city like Hangzhou, filled to the brim with internet famous cafes and restaurants, it's undeniable that this old neighborhood and down to earth local market does stand out. I know, it's really cool just to see a slice of local life here and we're gonna be eating what delicious things we can find. The first thing I've got to try is this here. A lot of people on social media are recommending it. It's called suyu, which basically means crispy fish. And they basically take these pieces of fresh fish and deep fry it. But it's not just bigger slices of fish. You've also got these teeny tiny fish that you can add to your mix of deep fried fish slices too. Is this Hangzhou the Okay, so I have my bag of goodies here. I'm so excited to try it. This fish looks so amazing and a twist I didn't expect. It's kind of like submerged in this juice and then kind of drained before it's served. So I feel like it's gonna have a really nice flavor. And he said not necessarily you have to eat it hot, but of course I'm gonna do that. When it comes to deep fried things, that is the only way. And look, he said that this is a Hangzhou specialty. People say that Hangzhou is a food desert, that no food come from here. Well, already that's being proven wrong. Oh, jackpot. I have just found a little park. So we're gonna have a little picnic. I mean, I'm right among it here. I found myself a little spot here at a local park. We have locals doing their exercises. Guys doing pull-ups in a tree. I mean, it's 7 a.m. and people are already up and about. It's always, yeah, very inspiring to see. It took everything I had this morning to get myself out of bed to come to this food market. Uh, but anyway, we are doing this, a fried fish at 7 a.m. Seven, let's get in there. I'm very excited, especially for those big pieces of fish. I'm, I'm a big fan of like, you know, slices of fish with not so many bones inside. I'm a bit of a typical foreigner in that way. So I'm gonna go in first with, the, with a bit of that. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, that is so good. One satisfied customer. This is even better than I thought it was gonna be. The deep frying gives it a crispiness for sure, but the fish is just so tender, it just falls apart in your mouth. And that sauce gives it a sweetness. So you have like this deep fried oily crispiness, a sweetness from the sauce. It's so, so tender, it's so moorish. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Now let's try one of these smaller ones. I'm very intrigued by it. I don't know if I eat it in one go or I guess it would be kind of Hard to like eat around the bone, so I, th I think I'm just gonna go for it in, in one bite. Mm. It's definitely fishier than the slices, but it's also crunchier. Okay, Guys, rough to a good start. And it's freaking delicious. I'm getting it. A piece really submerged in that sauce down there, so it's like dripping now. My fourth is so good. But our food adventure is only just getting started. Let's see what other breakfast delights we can find here at Dama Nong. <laughs> Next thing I'm keen to try is this here, another local specialty. Oh my goodness. 
这个是什么？葱花烩糖，这小吃。这个是当地特色吗？对。And it's a very interesting concept. First off, the pancakes are freshly made, after which a yotiao, a fried dough stick, as well as some spring onion is put inside. It's pressed down with quite some considerable force onto this hot plate, so it becomes flat and super, super crunchy. You can simply order yourself a single wrap if you want, but I was told to add extra flavor. I could add a slice of this vegetarian roast goose. And no, I'm not joking. That's what it's actually called. <laughs> 哦、Interested to see if that's actually the case. Anyway, the vegetarian roast goose in question is sandwiched between two of these yotel wraps, and there we go, ready to eat. I am so intrigued to try this. I mean, talk about a carb sandwich. We have two wraps here that are sandwiching a piece of that uh, vegetarian roast goose, and each of those wraps there have a yotel inside. So we are just you know, getting all of the nutrients here today. <laughs> Let's have a bite all together. Mm. 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 It's so, so good. I mean, I'm sure you guys heard the crunch just now, but what you didn't feel were the flavors going on in my mouth. It's slightly spicy. It's sweet, thanks to the addition of this like sweet and spicy sauce that he says that if I can handle spice, I really should try and add. You can see that sweet and spicy sauce just there. It adds such a great flavor. And you've also got a slight oniony fragrance in there as well, thanks to those spring onions to it. I'm keen to try a bit of that um, vegetarian goose on its own though. It's really good. Does it taste like roast goose? I'm not sure, but it is very tasty and I can imagine if I'm vegetarian and I don't eat much meat, this has like a, a, a meatiness to it for sure. I mean, so far so good. I'm here in Hangzhou, supposedly a food desert. I'm eating local snacks and they're delicious. So take from that what you will. But now I think for my next snack, I need something more on the refreshing side. My mouth is a bit salty, spicy, savory. So we're gonna get something a bit more on the sweeter side, I think. One thing I'm seeing everywhere at this market are these cute mini watermelons. One sign even claimed them to be internet famous. And since I've never eaten an internet famous mini watermelon before, well, that had me sold. What I loved about this whole concept is she cut off all the skin on the outside for me, leaving behind just the sweet and juicy core. So full disclosure, this watermelon was not from Hangzhou. It's actually from Shanghai. Apparently Shanghai are famous for their watermelons. Something I never knew, but that's what she said. Anyway, I had to get it because I've never had a watermelon like this before. It's so small. It's like a one person watermelon and it's the skin has been taken off for me. All the hard work has been done for me, which is just how I love it. I mean, if I could have a personal prawn peeler at my beck and call at any time of day, that would be great. Um, so yeah, let's, let's have a big bite of this watermelon. Yeah, it's exactly what I needed, just something refreshing. But tiny watermelons are not the only fruit you'll find at this market. If you're in the mood for fruit, I'm sure you'll find whatever you're looking for here. Okay, enough fruit for now. Let's get back to the salty stuff. I came across this stand here selling many local snacks. The first one that grabbed my attention was this long roll here, which was then cut up into little pieces. Right at the end, some sweet juice was added. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but we aren't done yet. She also had this big pot of large intestine. She was nice enough to give me just a few little cuttings so I could try a little bit without having to buy a massive serve. Oh, it's so good. It's really, really tender. It might actually be the most I've ever enjoyed large intestine. Something I don't like about large intestine is it has a very certain aftertaste that I'm not a fan of, but like a little bit of a stinky aftertaste. But this doesn't have that. It's just sweet. It's probably been brewing for hours and hours. We 
为什么这条街突然火起来了？因为老房子多。这是网红一条街。好事还是不好的事好事呢。好，我们生意好做呢。所以现在杭州这种地方不多吗？不多的。哦，几乎没有了。我很喜欢这里，嗯，感觉很有杭州的味道。嗯，对。Well, considering how hot this street is right now, I don't think I could come even close to affording property here. Anyway, let's go back to something much more in my price range: snacks. This here is a beverage I'm coming across a lot at this market. It's called Jiu Niao. 好喝吗？好喝的，甜的。是甜的。真的有酒精度吗？没，没酒精度的。是怎么做的？糯米用那个呃，橘子，就那个。Okay, sixth Hangzhou specialty of the day. Let's do this. Man, that is not what I was expecting. That's like a zing in my mouth. It's not um carbonated, but it has a zing to it. I don't know where it's coming from, but it feels like like an electric. Yeah, it feels like I've just put a battery on my tongue. It's so zingy. It's sweet. It's got like a slight alcoholic taste to it, but it's not alcohol. It, there's no actual alcohol in this. I've been told. Mm. Wow, that is so strange yet good. <laughs> well, I think that's quite enough snacking for one day. Let's walk it off a bit, shall we? And I couldn't have planned this better because right beside Damanong Market, you have Wushan, the only Westlake Mountain to be situated in downtown Hangzhou. And it looks like we are about to begin our ascent to the top of this mountain. This is so cool. And don't be put off by the climb. It's really not a super high mountain. I was able to reach the top after a leisurely 10-minute walk. Oh, this is nice. Onwards and upwards. I have just bought myself a ticket to get to the top of this mountain to see this、uh, pavilion here, and、uh, it costs 30 RMB. And of course, I've come all this way. Got to go to the top, and I'm hoping from the top I'm going to have a really lovely view over Hangzhou. So we're heading to the fourth floor, the marvelous site. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, cool, guys! You got to check out this view. I wonder if we can see the West Lake from here. Oh, wow! Yeah, there it is. This was so totally worth it. I mean, the climb was worth it. The 30 RMB entrance fee was worth it. Guys, you need to come here. You can have 360 degree views all across the city from here, including, of course, the West Lake, the most famous site here in Hangzhou. And it really puts into perspective here just how big this lake is. It's absolutely massive, and definitely a view of the lake I haven't seen before. But yeah, really, around the city, you've got. Really, views of everywhere. It's so nice. I mean, you just can't go wrong with an inner city mountain. If you come to China and you're in a city where there's a mountain, make sure you climb that mountain because guaranteed the best place to come for views, a little bit of nature. Okay, well that brings us to the end of today's food adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any plans to come to Hangzhou, I would really recommend you do what I've done today. You go to that food market. Make sure you come early because it's at its busiest around six to seven a.m. Go and have some delicious food. Oh. I'm here right on time. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Oh, six bells. I don't know what that means. I thought it was maybe like the, the time, but it's like 8:48. I don't know. Anyway,、uh, that was lovely. A great way to end our video here. So yeah, as I was saying, make sure you come to these two places: the food market, Dama Nong, this inner city mountain, Wushan. Absolutely amazing pairing. The foods I had this morning were just so delicious. You know, is Hangzhou really a food desert? That remains to be seen. The jury's still out on that one because the foods I had this morning were absolutely delicious. Would do. Would do it again. <laughs> I'm not sure what these bells signify. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, eight bells. Anyway. I'm gonna end this video before there are any more bells. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next week on my channel. Bye. Oh. <laughs>